They called me on my cell phone. I called him back. Got him on that Blackberry, I guess. <laughs> and I said, I'm trying to reach the 44th president from the United States. And he said, Brother Joe, I believe that would be me. <laughs> he said, I called you to ask you if you do the benediction or the invocation at the inauguration. I said, well, I'll check my schedule. <laughs> Maybe I can work it in. <laughs> he hadn't made up his mind which one then. I didn't care. Either one suited me. <laughs> but it so happened that uh, the benediction gives you the last word. <laughs> but he said, I'll call you back and tell you, fine. So later he did and asked me to do the benediction. And I was told that when you stand on the Capitol steps, look down that mall. And I'm going to tell you something else too, parenthetically. I'd have one frustration with the experience. Can you imagine a pastor with a congregation of two or three million people and I couldn't even figure out how to take up an offering? I ain't never gonna get over that. But seriously, they told me, they said, when you look down the mall, you will see the Washington Monument. And just beyond the Washington Monument, look hard enough, you can make out the outline of the Lincoln Memorial. I look forward to that because I wanted to connect an event and words that were spoken on the Lincoln Memorial 40 some years prior to the inauguration. And I looked at David as hard as I could, but I couldn't make out the Lincoln Memorial. These old eyes had, had grown dim, and I couldn't make it out. But the eyes of my heart <laughs> saw the Lincoln Memorial. And the ears of my soul heard a 34-year-old preacher standing on the steps, issuing a summons to a nation to climb up out of the pits of racism and obsession with color to a higher ground of character and competence. And there I was, never dreaming that I would even see, live long enough to see a black president. Here I was, not only seeing, but participating in the ceremony. And I was glad to be there to say that today, January 20th, is the nation's response to that summons issued by that 34-year-old preacher in 1963. <laughs>